This is the back part of the sky in the ground. We'll see the beer garden when we go inside. It's really a nice place and it's good for music. They have two places, venues that they do music, one in the inside, one outside. It's all freshly painted, green and cream. And we're gonna go take a look what it looks like on the inside. Into sky in the ground. I had to use uh, my mic and overlay it because there is music playing in the background and usually in the sky on the ground it's big for music so they always have music playing around. Um, looking at all the decorations, it's very well decorated the sky on the ground is. Um, there's a lot of uh, memorabilia all over the place and look at those whiskey bottles. I'll show you later on all the different whiskey bottles there are. There's, there's hundreds of them. I spoke to Johnny a little bit, the owner, and he says you know, he knows every single one of them. So if you want to go into a uh, sky in the ground and you want to have something different or a certain taste, just go see him and ask about it. And they have something for everyone's taste and price budget. Um, you know, there's well decorated. You can see there's a nice fireplace lit in. So in the colder days, and I know they have some trad sessions in there and some nights. So a nice all snug by the fire. You could sit and watch the, uh, the music and listen to music and, uh, you know, talk to and catch up with friends. There's all these little snugs all over the place, which are very handy. On this side of the other uh, part of the uh, bar, there's a separate section. I know I've seen a few gigs in it. Uh, they'd close the doors at the back, and there would be some, uh, you know, bands playing or performers, individual performers. There's a little cigarette machine. You got all these different uh, little, you know, knickknacky things everywhere. Like it's very traditional in Irish pubs to have it. So here's a lot of the cocktail stuff and you know, some wines, um, some more drinks. And then if you follow on back down, so there's a nice stone feature on the wall in the place. And then you go outside, where it just where it says Mercy Street. You go into the back, and then you're into the beer garden. And then you work. Uh, your way back towards the back wall. In the back, they used to have bands playing there, and you know it's it's covered. So even when it's raining a bit, you're still outside. So it's a huge smoking area. There's the big logo of the sky in the ground, and you know, part and they had bands playing in that corner, and then upstairs you can go to the back part. That goes to where they have residents there. There used to be um, a restaurant up on the, uh, the first floor. Nice big logo with a Guinness sign. You know, some more decorations. You have tea and cakes and Guinness and stuff like that. And then we walk into this door and then we're heading towards some more decorations. You know, the Nicholas Debrex is a distillery which is on Bishop's Water, which is right beside this place. Uh, there's a few signs there. All of Wexford, they're no longer in existence anymore. Some more advertising. I think that's for cigarettes. And here's another, you know, plaques, wooden plaques. It's like a porter and then uh, cigarettes or an av a cigar advertisement. And here's the, the jacks. Here's where you have the, uh, you know, the trough style, but it's all been renovated and that in the recent years. And then the toilet. So it's very, very clean, good, good nick of the place. And then you 
walk outside, you have some more pictures on the wall and advertising. And then we make our way back into the pub area. And like I said, court distilleries, whiskey, there's stuff all over the place in these little cubby holes. You see the pictures here and there. And you know, you can spend hours just looking around at the place. So if you come here and you're, especially from overseas, you know, come in, spend a few hours enjoying the uh, the atmosphere and the whiskeys and then the, the beers on tap. There's tons of them you see there. There's the old Irish ones. You have the Guinness, the Harp, you know, the ciders. And then we work our way back up. And then when you come in on the left of the door, there's a little snug in, in here where it's great for like small parties. If you have small groups, you can reserve it. You know, nice decorated like most of the uh, facilities are um, and then on the side there's some nice little pictures some old ancient pictures there's your man John F Kennedy if you want to look at the uh, the new Ross ones I have that uh, explains more about uh, Kennedy's and then here we are behind the bar up close and personal to all the whiskeys you look at the bottles there and Johnny your man says he knows every single one of them and what they're in the prices and that so there's tastes for every palate you just come in into the sky to ground which is on the south side of uh, the town uh, right near King Street it's across from Bugard Oils and beside the Foggy Dew which you'll see in just a little bit but like I said very entertaining a very nice location well kept great staff um, so when you're into Wexford come in and see it look at all these different whiskeys like you can go on forever and ever. There's different ages, different sizes, different makes, different models. You know, for every palette there is. Like, it would take you a couple of years to probably go through them, you know, to try each and every one of them. Like I said, if you, depending on what your your budget is, there's something for you. He says, uh, Johnny said, that, you know, there is, they're reasonable priced as well. And he keeps adding more and more to it, so keeps up with the, the stories and that make sure he's got nothing but the best uh, he even said it was uh, amazing during the, uh, the lockdown there was always different uh, whiskeys coming on so he was buying away during the lockdown even though they weren't open just so that he'd have this the products available for the customers when they came back and which we're all back now thank thank god for that so we're back into the, the normal scenes the pubs took a big hit well, that's why I decided to show these, uh, you know, not to mention just the, uh, the, the subscribers that asked for it, but, you know, just to show what West Wexford has to offer in terms of the public houses. And hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Okay, here's another very, very important pub in the area. It's uh, Bugard Oils. It's very popular with the Welsh uh, visitors that come over on the ferry, especially during the Six Nations time. It has uh, bed and breakfast available as well. And then the carryout, which is an off-license. This is located just on the side where they have an ATM. There's someone waving to me, having a early sneaky pint. And we're going to go in and we're going to see if Andy lets me look around and show you the beautiful pub and a popular location in Wexford Town, Yogurt Oils. Okay, so I'm walking into Bugard Oils now, and you can see it's another what we call the horsey bars, like I explained to you about uh, Casey's. You know, the bookies are, there's two bookies on each side. There's the, uh, the Wexford jersey, and then we'll go look at the rest of it. It's a traditionally old style pub, and there's the main man, Andy Doyle. How are you doing? Republican, and he also has rooms here, uh, B and B's, and you can contact him on Facebook, and or on info at buglerdoyles.ie. Info at buglerdoyles.ie, and you can get rooms here. And like I said, very very popular for the Welsh visitors, especially in Six Nations time. And it's it's right at the end of the city, so what it's you're not inside the city, but you're not far from the town, and you can walk up. And very very popular, especially at the young lads at night. And he's done a lot of renovations in the last little while. And I'm going to take you out back, and I'll show you. All the changes he's made. Yeah. Here's an old traditional old picture. If you notice the theme, they always have a lot of, you know, nostalgic pieces all over the place in most of the pubs in Ireland. It got some character to it. So you see, 
Beer. Like I said, the horsies are all over the place. And then there's a fireplace in the middle. And there's a good old picture of the pikeman. And then the back bar here. There's more TEs there. There, so very good for any time you have a match on. There's another toilet out here. And then here's the open beer garden. So we have the front part where people sit out front and have it. Well, you can also come out back here. And then he's recently uh, renovated the back party and it's called The Hatch at Bubers. You see it's right colors. And there's all the, the old Guinness signs. And then there's stairs up to the, the uh, back room. And then look at the ceiling. It's got all these faces of celebrities. There's Michael Collins right there. And then the bar, it's been all renovated all to the, the way the specs and that. So that helps out for people when they're setting parties. You can see someone's setting up a party and this goes to the alleyway. And so that's basically Buger Doyle's. So if you're in town, come on in. You'll enjoy uh, a few pints and it's uh, good for sporting events and racing and just a general night out. A lot of young kids come here too. Um, you know, it is a very popular place. And like I said, it's not right in near the bull ring, but it's like literally a three to four minute walk. Okay, this is the outside and the side part of the uh, Simon Lamberts. You can see on the far left there, there's the, uh, the Yellow Belly uh, Irish Craft Beer sign. So if you want to watch the Salty Islands, you remember, if you want to see that, I brought two cans of myself and Lyell enjoyed a salt um, a beer from uh, Wexford on the Yellow Bellies on the Salty Islands and it was very good. So this is the, where the origins of it. They were a microbrewery and now they have a whole facility up on the top of Way Rock Hill and they employ a lot of people so during the daytime it's all like food and restaurants and then it's a normal pub. Here's an example of what you can have in there and it's a barbecue from four o'clock till nine o'clock and here's the outside of it and we'll go back and we'll take a look what it looks like from outside so that's what simon lambert's looks outside it's it's tiny inside and they're all feed, feeding everyone with food and that so i won't really go in but uh it's just a a bar on the right hand side with chairs and then a smoking table uh, section in the back and that's located right on the main street opposite horse shop and opposite deals so if you come to Wexford town and you want to have a bite to eat that's the place to go so this is the foggy view we're gonna go see if we can get inside okay so I'm walking into the foggy view so you come in Get the little benches sit up here. Here's the bar we're gonna go into first. But I wanna take a look at the beer garden that's open up my back. Now this place had a big fire during the, uh, the lockdown. So it's all been renovated. And it's a nice big old beer garden here now. If you look at it, it's really nice. You can still see the smoke marks on the back from when they had the fire. And then let's we'll see, does it go in here? To the book. Yeah, so we go in from here. I'm going. And then back there, and then you have the, the club right here on the, the bar on the outside. And then the big screen TVs with the racing on. And there's bookies right across the road. You can see the Punchestown Festival is still going on. And there's a little snug in the back and it still has a TV so it's lots of TVs so it's nice very specially you know so that's the foggy dew is located just on the south side of Wexford town near right next door to sky in the ground and look outside and there's the bookies and then you see Bugard oil as we said before and there's sky ground right by so beside it So here's the John Barry, 
It used to be called the White Horse. It's located right opposite the Talbot Hotel on the Crescent Key. And you can see the water right in front of you. It's made, named after the Commodore Barry, which there's a statue if you watch my Wexford Town vlog. And it shows you that the the Commodore John Barry was the founder of the, the American Navy. So this pub is a tiny little place and I, I, I remember it well. Um, one of the, uh, the publicans used to be Peter Brady and we had really good times there. So we're gonna pop inside and see if we can see what it looks like inside. So John, the John Barry on Wexford Key. Okay, so we're inside the John Barry. We have the typical pictures and that, and then here you have the, the bar area here. A lot of sailing, paraphernalia, the popular TV, the various photos of ships, and then the back. And then you have the toilets here in the back. So it's a very quaint little place. A lot of visitors come in here, especially from, you know, the ones that are staying at the Talbot Hotel. They'll come in and, like I said, I remember used to come here a lot of times um, back in the day when, like, Peter Brady was the publican. And uh, it was a interesting little place. And it's located, key location right there. So a lot of visitors that come in from uh, the Talbot, they'll always pop in here for one. And they have music here and everything else. Very well worth your while if you come into Wexford Town to pop in and it's located right on the key. So you can see the key right in front of us.